and the book report. Nothing better. Who's calling? Hello, who is this? This is the company that you ordered the free iPod from? Oh yeah, so uh, when will I get here? Well, I've got you on the phone. Well, uh, you see, there's actually been a change of plans, and we ran out of them right when we offered you the one we offered you. So, uh... Oh, wait, wait, let me finish your sentence for you. It'll be a couple of extra days as you wait for a replacement to, ar to arrive. Well, not exactly. What do you mean? It's not coming. Like, it's not coming to the factory yet, but it'll be shipped to the factory by Monday, and I'll get it more than just a little later than expected. No, you imbecile. It's not coming at all. So you're saying it's not coming to your factory, the factory that actually manufactures the iPod will be sending it directly to me? No, I mean it's not coming to us, to you, to anyone. So then you're saying that I'll have to come pick it up from the manufacturers myself? No, you moron. Drive this concept into your thick skull before I have to come find you and drive something a little bit more painful in there for you. It's not coming to you. You're not coming to get it. You're not getting a new iPod. Capiche? Hey, let me tell you something. There are two things I really don't like. Number one is being crazy. Number two is, he hung up on me. I was going to say, being promised something. Especially something as cool as an iPod and not getting it for some unknown reason that I can't for the life of me figure out. Time to hunt down this crazy son of a gun and get that iPod. Speaking of guns, I'll need mine if I'm going to take this crazy, non-handing-out iPod dude out. The best place to store your guns. Right next to your phone on the couch. That's what I do. I gotta go find this son of a gun. This looks like the place. How can I get in? Let's try the door handle. Maybe it'll work. Well, what do you know? It worked. All right. Truthfully, we're gonna have a cool kick down the kick down the door type shot for later. But we needed to advance the plot along. So just we're using a thing called suspension of disbelief that the door would just be open. So just suspend your disbelief for a couple more minutes, all right? You'll get your cool kick the door down type shot later. Oh, I just can't decide. Team Edward or Team Jacob? <sighs> I know, I'll get one of each. And I'll wear the Team Edward shirt during the first movie and the Team Jacob shirt during the second movie. I am such a genius. Add to cart, add to cart. See? I told you we'd have a cool kick down the door type shot later. Dude, turn on some lights in here, man. Did you really kick the door in? Nah. If I'm being truthful, I really didn't kick the door in. 
I just, uh, you know, I heard you debating with yourself through the door when I was, you know, debating on how to make my entrance. And, you know, I, I unloosened it because I knew you wouldn't notice you were too busy debating whatever you were debating with yourself about. And so I undid, you know, I, I, you know, I opened it up a little bit very quietly, kicked it lightly, and then got in the cool position I was in. You know, so no, if I'm being truthful, no. Obviously, you found my hideout. Why'd you do it? I don't know. I just sort of wanted my entrance to have, you know, sort of an action movie slash bad <laughs> type feel to it. No, not kick the door in, you moron. Why'd you find my hideout? Oh, oh, you mean that. Uh, I wanted my iPod. You promised me an iPod. I wanted it. Oh, wow. You're dumber than I thought. You really still think you're getting an iPod. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the one with the gun here. I should be asking the question. Because I do have a couple of them. I've got one really big one. Just who the heck are you? My villain name is the Identity Thefter. But you can call me... You. Seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that was the name you chose for your villainous personality? The Identity Thefter? Yeah, well, what's wrong with it? I don't know. It just seems a little bit un... You know, it just, it just doesn't seem very creative. All you did was take the words identity theft, put the word the in front of those words, and then add ER on the theft. I don't know, seems like you could have spent a little bit more time on that, bub. Well, y your name is Russell Davis. That name's pretty stupid. Touché, my good man, touché. So I guess by now you know I've stolen your identity. Whoa, wait a minute. You stole my identity? Yeah, dude. How did you not pick up on that? I mean, my villain name is the identity thefter. I assume that's why you were here to kill me. No, dude. I just wanted the iPod you promised me. I mean, I just brought the gun along to make sure you'd give it to me. But, uh, you know, you, you stole my identity, so I may have to end up using it. I mean, I don't want to, but I may have to end up using it. And, I mean, you know, I mean, I guess it really depends on what you were going to buy with the money you were going to steal. What were you going to buy? I was going to buy the first two Twilight movies on Blu-ray disc. I was going to get the two disc editions, too. And then I was going to get a Team Jacob and a Team Edward shirt. Originally, I was just going to buy one, but then I remembered that I wasn't paying for it, so I decided to buy both, and I had a plan that I was going to wear the Team Edward shirt during the first movie, and then the Team Jacob shirt during the second movie. Yeah, dude. You're definitely going to die. It's just because everyone knows it's Team Edward all the way! Well, then go ahead and shoot me. Because you'll just be shooting yourself. I'm pretty sure just because you stole my identity, that doesn't mean that when I shoot you, I'll be shooting myself at the same time. Well then, go ahead and shoot me, because you'll just be shooting yourself. Also, I'm impervious to every type of ammunition known to man, except one. Well, I guess I'll try this gun first. Yeah! Oh no! Who told you that the type of ammo, the only one in the world that can kill me, is... Nerf darts. Believe it was a lucky guess? You.